There you go. Come on, get rid, get rid of them. Oh, now this thing's attacking me, is it? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, help, help, help. Uh, whistle neutral. Kill it, kill it. Three, two, one. I'm a daddy. Yay, to lots of little baby Thanoticus children. Yes. Oh, <laughs> let, me, let me quickly like. Uh, I need to go claim all these guys before they die. Come on. Uh, uh. Panic, panic, panic. I, I didn't think this through. I was just like, oh, I'll just hatch them all out. I, I never thought I forgot about the claiming part. But guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video of the Ark Nightmare series. Guys, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing fan freaking tastic. In between episodes, I went and uh, stole a whole bunch of Dynonicus eggs. And you guys don't want to go on a walk? Come on, come on. Not that I really need you guys to be imprinted. I figured it's just part of the fun, you know? Come on. Get imprinted. You want it? You want it? Come on. Hey, you still want to go on a walk? You know? What do you want? What do you want? You want to cuddle? And you, you want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? You want to cuddle? You want to cuddle? Jeez, you guys are so demanding. Who would have thought kids would be demanding, you know, like wanting to go on walks and stuff like that and you want more cuddling? Oh, come on. But guys, what is up? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I wanted the Dynonicus because I want the eggs. I know the, the, uh, these guys are literally just going to be for, for kibble. Uh, how many females do I get? I've got one female, two females, three females, four females, I oh, know two males. Damn it. Oh, so close to getting the perfect fe perfect amount of females. You want basic kibble, you want Azula berries, you want to go on a walk, you want to cuddle? Oh, I'll give you a cuddle. And you want oh, so many, so demanding, all of you. Seriously, come on. Uh, where, where's, where's, the, where's the berry harvester? Uh, no, whatever, I don't care. They're just for eggs anyway. But as you can see, my, <laughs> my panda's a different color. That's because my previous one died. I was out and about and I got jumped by a fey warrior and I just wasn't expecting it. and you guys are getting stuck can you like come this way please and I just I just genuinely wasn't expecting it and I just got absolutely messed up so yeah it, it, it did not go well to say the least it did not go well so not anymore oh there's one over here just because I needed I need to put them in their house like it, it, it's a totally legit totally totally legitimate little little house over here i mean i don't care what you say it looks like it is a legitimate house <laughs> and as you can see i was trying to hatch the eggs with a torches but i realized i just did not have enough torches so i had to i went to made an archimatic egg in ink egg inky ink egg incubator and then i used that to hatch them up so yeah we've got this little it's a very nice little bedroom you know it's a, it's a bedroom it's a bedroom right you, you guys believe me you guys believe me <laughs> uh i don't need the mail out i only need one so that should be enough yep there we go sweet so you guys do your thing you just gonna like leave you in here like you guys got bench right you got some, some beds uh don't mind me uh, let me just do it. What, what, one moment show one moment show uh, we want to switch to manual and then ju ju just for safety, you know, so you guys don't get oh don't let, don't let me stuck in here, you know, just just for safety guys you, you ignore the fact that it's barred walls, whatever <laughs> Oh, but welcome back guys. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Oh, I'm dying So hope you guys are enjoying the video today. I want to go out and I want to get myself something It is a very unique tame in the fact that it's going to help me tame other things much quicker. I want to go tame up a Giga Titan. Yeah, I know. The, the name sounds super scary. But it's it's really not. It, it's a pretty chill. There, there's one, for example. That's only level 110, though. So we need some raw mutton. We need some... I'm pretty sure I've got raw mutton. But I know where level 300 is. So I think it's going to be absolutely incredible if we can go ahead and find ourselves one of those. So I'm going to quickly fly over. It's like all the way down there. And then, yeah, I'll bring you guys back once we once we found them. 
So if I remember correctly where I saw this thing, it was somewhere down here. It was busy fighting off some, uh, what was it? V v Velo. It was fighting off some Velo something. It was like around one of these cliffs. I I'll recognize the area once I see it. But the reason the Giga Titan is so good is it has the ability to do the same attack as the Moth. And you're gonna say like, wait, what? Why is that good? Well, in case you weren't aware, the moth will like drain your hunger and stamina of a cre of a wild creature, uh, effectively making it so that it's like a super quick tame. You know, we've got a Carcinodonte, uh, somewhere over here, I think. I might be completely misremembering where this thing was. It was somewhere. I know it was in like this area. But I might not remember exactly where it was. We got something fighting over here. We've got some an insidious eminence. That's another another one of these uh, little NPCs. And oh my gosh, that doesn't sound good. And yeah, these things are scary because I, I think that is what killed me earlier. That made me lose my previous red panda, who we had named. Although now I can't remember what the name is because we didn't have it for very long. But we had named it from a name suggestion we had in the comments. As well as we've gone ahead and named some other things. Like we've named our Water Wyvern Oceanid. I had a couple other name suggestions. I think I'm still trying to decide which. Because I had quite a few name suggestions for my Drakenthorn. There's Purple Murple. There is... Uh, what's it? Astalos. There is... There's one more, there was one more, there was one more. Can't remember. Yeah, it was this area. There. Hello. Oh, there you are. Talk, talk about suddenly stumbling upon it. <laughs> Hi, guy. How's it going? Okay, I'll, I want to get rid of these velodromes. Because I feel like they are going to be a pain. There you go. Come on, get rid, get rid of them. Oh, now this thing's attacking me, is it? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, help, help, help. Uh... Whistle neutral. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. No. No. What? No. That was not according to plan whatsoever. Uh. Uh oh. That's. that's how did I get dismounted? They can pull you off your mount? What? I'm so confused. The red panda. No. Um. Damn, uh, do I have any flyers here? What oh, well, Did I have them in my inventory? Um, this is not good. This is not good whatsoever. I did have all my, I had both my wavens on me. Damn. Okay. And I don't have any fur armor. Okay. I'm gonna need to get some armor. And then I suppose we go out on the Dinochirus to try and get our stuff back. I, okay. Yeah, let, let me get some fur armor quick. Okay, I think it was, okay, there, I can see my death beam. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, I wonder if it's still alive. Oh, I wonder if my water wyvern probably killed it, didn't it? Uh, yep, there you are. Hi, Oceanid. You're, it's just you here, hey? Okay. Oh, the red panda! You're still alive, little buddy! Hello, guy! How's it going? Nice. Sweet. Okay, let's get all our stuff. Oh, why did my hotbar reset? So dumb. Uh, let's put on my better armor that I had. Uh, it's just, you know. There we go. Okay. So. Do I want to... Yeah, let me just pick up my Oceana. No, I, I'll pick up the Dinocaris. Man, that's so disappointing. Why did we... <laughs> had to go and kill the Giga Titan. No, that sucks. Oh, I didn't... I, I, I'm going to be honest. I just didn't expect to get dismounted, you know? Like, that's the thing. And see how many creatures I have on me. I've got my Carcharodonte, my Pteranodon. Don't know what's happened to my Drakenthorn. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm, I've probably left it somewhere and just forgot. So, I yeah, don't need that, don't need that. 
I was trying to paint stuff earlier. What's coming for me? I hear walking. Please no. Okay. You know what? I'm going to head back to base. And just like drop off stuff. And is it trying to eat me? Is there something here? Oh no. That's just uh, the water wyvern that's moving. So freaky. Okay. So I'm going to clean up my stuff. Head back to base. And then yeah. Let's go look for another Giga Titan. Man, I'm so disappointed. Well, hello. Uh, don't you mind if I do? An Alpha Ferrara... Ferrara? Ferrarasaurus. Whatever. Can I kill you? Die. Die. Let's just take it out very easily. I mean, that was doing poison to the... There you go. Look at that. Prime dot and a... Be Belosaurus tech saddle. Well, that's cool. What did we get? Alpha blood. Blood from additional genetic manga. Is this these dots? Oh, it is. Look at that. Well, I don't mind if I... I don't have a long neck, do I? Do I? I do. Okay. I didn't have it on my hot bar, so I wasn't actually quite sure. But nice. Sweet. Look at that. Oh, I need to make sure to kill the alphas whenever I see them. That's going to be perfect. So... What, what are you? What are you? Peering Earth Wyvern. That's fine. I'm not not interested in taming another Wyvern today. I am on the search for a Giga Titan. Because, yeah, who, who would have thought a bug would be called a Giga Titan? You know, like, does does the name make sense to you guys? It, it, it just really doesn't make too much sense to me. I'm going to keep flying around. I'm hoping to find a nice high level soon. And, yeah, I'm bringing you guys back once I have. Hello, little Oxalaya. Oh yeah, and I'm sure you've seen the artifact in my inventory. I went into a cave and I, I was curious why I wasn't able to find any of these artifacts because I could have sworn I was at the right cave. And then I thought to myself, let me just restart Ark. And it turns out the kit, the artifacts weren't spawning, but then when I restarted, it was spawning. So in those previous caves, there might've been artifacts there, but they might not have been. So yeah, I need to check. What is this thing? And em Emila, I'm trying to get a good look at it, but I can't quite see it. I mean, it's fighting this Carsarodonte. Carsarodonte. Is that you? You look like a... Triceratops thing? Is it? I'm not quite sure. Hello? What are you? It looks... It definitely looks like a Triceratops. But there's like a tree in the way, you know? They... The, the, the trees are a little bit of a pain. Yeah, it's a Triceratops thingy. Um, is it winning? Yes, it is. Okay, and now it's fighting a Herorosaurus. That's fine, you can fight the Herorosaurus. That's cool. Saves me having to fight it. Sweet. I mean, this thing could be interesting. Is it aggressive? Doesn't seem to be aggressive to me, but that's because this Wyvern has like a really high aggro. Can I trap you? I mean... Uh, I've been known to be able to trap things pretty easily with this trap. <laughs> it's actually a little OP, if you ask me. It's a, it's a little bit of OP-ness. Being able to just come and trap things with your with your pre-built structures. I, I'm thinking of not using it for, like, proper dangerous creatures, but for something like this, I mean, I, I don't even know what this is. Uh, let me just go ahead and use these dots, because, you know, I might as well. They are nice and powerful, I think. I don't know, I've never used him. There we go. How much torp would that do? Uh, that, that did a decent amount. Damn, that these darts are amazing. How, how do I make myself more of these? These things are great. <laughs> it saves me so much time. <laughs> there you go. Come on, get get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. Do I have any more? Oh, and I've got these darts as well, which are, these are like the, the gap. I'm using all my strong trank darts for this, I don't care. So just so we can get this guy, because it, it looks pretty interesting. It definitely looks like a trike, but it does seem to eat meat. I've got some mutton on me, so we can maybe go ahead and tame this guy. But nice. I mean, it's not what I was looking for. I mean, I'm still looking for the Giga Titan. Like, that's what I really want. And that's what I will end up taming today. I still just need to find one. But this is a good start. I mean, I, d I don't know what it is. And that that's always the fun to tame things when you just don't know what they are. Sweet. I'm going to quickly just trank this guy out and I'll bring you guys back once he's 
sleeping, I guess. So now that it's daytime and we can actually get a closer look at this guy. And Emily, em Emile and Toka. I have no clue what it is. Well, can, can I make a saddle for this? Emile. E Emile. Email. No, I can't. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well, I guess I guess you're useless until uh until I get a saddle for you at level 90. Yay. Let's just leave him here. Okay. Off on a mission to go find a nice high level Giga Titan. I have no clue where to look. I'm probably gonna like just stick to the same island because this seems to be where I see them the most. And then, yeah, can do our best to tame it. I probably should have gone ahead and seen if I could make myself some better darts, but you know what? Oh, we'll, we'll just make do with what we have. Uh, I might have to trap it and then go fetch more darts, but you know what? We'll, we'll see once we figure that part out. But first, I have to find one. Like, I can talk all about trapping it and knocking it out. If I can't find one, it's all for nothing. I'm totally getting myself a little backup panda. Uh, do I have any rare flowers? I do. Yes. Come here. 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 You're pink. You're like strawberries. You. Yes. Nice. Hello, little guy. Stop. 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 Oh, you're so cute. Oh, these red pandas really do just look amazing. I love the look of them. Let's put you away because I've I've already got one. I've got one that's the generic colors, and then yeah, now we've got a spare. Finally, I must just not lose it because I feel like that's gonna, that's probably gonna happen, you know. Like these red pandas, I wonder if I can get a male and female, and then just like breed up a whole bunch of them, because they are like super useful to have with their color buddy buff. But it's actually amazing. I found these really cool rocks. They they give you bee honey. And these things are like obviously naturally spawning on the map. And that's actually amazing. I love that. Now it's easier to get a whole bunch of honey without having to go ahead and harvest beehives. That's awesome. Oh, Giga Titan. Giga Titan. What level are you? What level are you? 290? That is not why I stopped you. I stopped you <laughs> for the bee honey. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, friend. Yes. I like you. Uh. There you go. Be trapped. Can you get out? You'll probably get out. But you know what? I suppose. How much torpor does this boomerang do? 200. Not that much. Okay, my darts do more. Definitely do more. If I can actually hit my darts. Because apparently my aim sucks. Apparently my aim really sucks. There we go. Nice. Sweet. We found ourselves a Giga Titan. Ah. Oh. Hey, don't do that. That's rude. How rude of you. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to, like, jump off my mount here. Hope nothing bad comes for me. And just suffer if it does. Sweet! I mean, I... I, <laughs> I genuinely wasn't expecting this guy to be there. I was just harvesting the rocks for the honey, and then I suddenly get attacked. Oh, that, that's actually amazing. I th the Ark Gods are shining down upon me. Yes, they are. And it's amazing. Come on. Get knocked out, you little stupid bug. And finally out. It ended up escaping out of the trap, so I had to move it and recapture it. And nice. Uh, let's go ahead and chuck in a whole bunch of raw mutton. And wow, it's food drains super super quickly what is that food meant to be that low when you start i don't know that's really weird okay anyway so i'm going to and now it stopped that is so weird whatever arc arc is making sense yes i don't know maybe it's food was like drained before or something i'm not i'm not quite sure how that works Sweet! I am going to pretty much just AFK at this point. I'll just go on a defending spree, stop any Dilos coming and attacking it. And then, yeah, I'll bring you guys back once it's fully tamed up. And done! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Hello, little guy. Oh, big guy, I guess. A nice big praying mantis thingy. So, let's go ahead and let's pick up this trap. Let's go. I keep, I, I moved my, 
my soul gun to a different slot so I keep accidentally trying to hit the parachute thinking it's my soul gun when it's not oh what's this what's this what's this scope attachment oh, I'm not interested I, I don't need it I don't need it oh we gotta I need to tame myself with Neovenator at some point it's it's like a pretty cool taming like you need to use chain bowlers and then you chain bowler it and then you run up to it and feed it it's it's a pretty cool chaining uh, uh, chaining it's a pretty cool taming method I believe it's the same as there's one of the creatures from Ark Anomaly, the plant thingy that, yeah, looks like a thing. It's that also you need to chain bullet and then you just run up and passive feed, which I think is really cool. I love those types of uh, taming mechanics and we'll definitely be taming all of those in this series. So yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to uh, testing those out. Cool, I'm gonna quickly head back to the base and make a saddle and then I want to show you guys exactly why this thing is OP for taming. Cool, so let's see, what do we need for a Giga Titan saddle? Giga, Giganto Fizz, Gigant Spino, Giga Titan. Uh, it's kind of funny it actually uses a Giga. Oh no, is that a Giga or is that a Rex? Uh, I can't remember. Rex. No, it's it's the Giga Saddle. Giga. Not that I've unlocked it. Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I too often get confused between Gigas and Brain Mantises. You know, you can just obviously see the similarities. So, we'll check this guy down. As you can see, it's pretty big. Pretty big. Just check on the saddle and... Look at it. This thing looks awesome. It can fly. And then I believe it's... it's which attack is it? Is it... Right click? Yeah, see, right click will do these spores. Which I think is really cool. And then you can go up to something and... Where's a passive tame? That's what I want to see. I need a passive tame. Uh, the Andrew Sarkis. So, I can come up to this guy. Okay. Hello? Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. So, you're level 180. We can go ahead, we can... Oh, no. I don't want to use the bee honey, because that will only use, like, two, and then that defeats the point of the experiment. So you can see we can feed him raw mutton. And now, now watch what happens when you do this. So just come and do your spores, and you can look at that food. Look at it. Look at that. That's insane. And I'm pretty sure you can do this with the regular La Mantria as well. So I actually want to do some testing. So you can see it's food's like drained all the way to zero and now it's literally just you feed it as often as it'll allow you. Which I think is absolutely incredible. This is this thing gonna make taming some creatures super easy. And, and especially those like those passive tames which you generally would have to wait for like a thousand years. And also it doesn't affect its taming effectiveness. You can see it's still 99.9% .9%, which is absolutely perfect. And look at that. We go get ourselves an Andrew Sarkis with like super easy, quick taming. We don't have to worry, don't have to wait, don't have to do any of those things. And now we got ourselves a little taming Andrew Sarkis. You can see it, look how much it's just gone and pooped while I was having that effect. So that's absolutely amazing. I do want to know, does this work on, on knockout tames? It's just like try with knock out this dodo here mr mr giga titan can you come and knock it out and is that gonna do anything no okay so what if we knock out if we do it on something and then knock it out there we go and let's get our boomerang out let me off let me off let me off there we go Ugh, this thing's so buggy I want to... Are you still affected by it? No, you're not. Okay, that's stupid. So, I want I want to do it when I'm going to, like, knock out something immediately. Okay. Uh, this... No, since I was not going to knock out... Hmm. What can I knock out? I feel like this Dodo is my best bet. I just need to not glitch and get stuck. Okay, and... Hit the Dodo. And oh, look at that! You can train its food instantly! That's insane. Obviously, then I'll start dying, but fortunately, I'm pretty sure you'd rather use this on like a. If you could do this, time this right, 
that you get it on like a giga or something that would normally take forever to feed that that would just be incredible and like let's just put this dodo out of its misery sorry mr dodo he, he... what are you doing come on guy what you doing so i think that's just gonna be absolutely insane for taming some creatures i mean like we could come up to this guy just like uh spit on him or whatever if we can actually hit it whatever but you guys get the point like it's absolutely incredible i mean how how good is that so this is definitely something you want to pick up i believe this is from the additional creatures mod i think it might be prehistoric beasts but i'm pretty sure this is additional creatures i'm not sure wait i, I can i can test this i can test this because prehistoric beast has its own workbench right so if i find where i've put the prehistoric beasts if i can find where i've crafted the prehistoric beasts workbench i can actually test it out and tell you exactly which mod it's from but i'm i'm fairly certain this is from uh additional creatures which is a mod that i do have on my cluster so go check it out that is sponsored by G Portal. Thank you, G Portal, for hooking me up with that cluster. I really appreciate it. And yeah, okay, yeah, so it's not a press bar creature, it's additional creatures. So yeah, join the Discord if you want to play on the cluster. You can like maybe be featured in an upcoming video that I'm going to be doing on a very long way away. But you could have like a a scene in the video or something like that. I'll figure I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, I don't think I even showed off. I've made a second floor now for my structure over here. I still need to come in and put lights and like put in some rooms and sort of like lay out the whole area but we've got these ways through to the other side and then we can obviously get to our uh, our uh, dungeon <laughs> if that's what we're calling it our little dungeon with all our Deinonychus friends who are not eating because I maybe ran out of meat did I did I run out did I seriously ran out of meat my trough does does the trough just not reach uh show visible area oh my the trough just doesn't eat doesn't reach oh i can't i can't let them up so i need to set up a trough so that i don't accidentally kill my my uh my inhabitants of my dungeon <laughs> so yeah gonna have to do that but guys I think that's going to be it for me for this video. If you have enjoyed it, why don't you do me a favor and hit the like button. I really would appreciate it. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Cheers, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.